Hello, and welcome to Family Tree Sagas. We are excited to share the true tales from our own diverse family tree and to remind you that every family tree has its own incredible sagas. These narratives, richly painted with meticulous genealogical research and AI-enhanced creativity, celebrate the legacies that forge our identities. Explore the enchanting Sicilian sagas. Uncover the depths of northern Mexico with the Allende Chronicles and venture into the heart of dispatches from the disputed Texas territories. Each story is a piece of a much larger puzzle, just like the stories in your own tree. So, let's set sail on this journey of discovery together, celebrating the sagas that connect us all. The Jesus. Allende Chronicles In Search of De La Garza Chapter 5 Victor and Allende Parallel Births Intertwined Destinies In the rich tapestry of the Allende Chronicles a remarkable parallel unfolds, weaving the birth of Victor de la Garza with the genesis of the town of Allende. Both born at the same time and place in history, then known by the name of its mission, San Juan de Mata. This serendipitous alignment, more than mere coincidence, is a profound testament to the symbiotic relationship between a person, family, and their place of origin. As Allende emerges from the annals of history, so does Victor each embodying the spirit and transformation of the era. This convergence is not just a chronicle of events. It represents the inextricable link between the individual and the collective, where personal stories are etched into the larger canvas of history. Victor's life, mirroring the birth and growth of Allende, is a powerful symbol of identity, belonging, and the enduring legacy of a community. In the unfolding of our search, we delve into the heart of mestizo identity, in search of the intricate lineage of the de la Garza family. As we journey northward in geography and approach the present in time, a new dimension emerges, revealing the potential influence of various indigenous tribes, collectively known as the Coahuiltecans, on this storied lineage. Victor de la Garza's story, deeply entwined with the birth of Allende, symbolizes the broader narrative of mestizo heritage a complex blend of cultures, histories, and identities. The de la Garza name, renowned in Nuevo León as among the original settlers, represents a legacy that migrated north through perils and encounters with diverse native tribes, eventually settling in Coahuila. Our quest in tracing this particular de la Garza line is not only a genealogical pursuit but also a symbolic exploration of the mestizo identity at large. As we encounter Victor for the first time in marriage records, we stand at the crossroads of history and mystery, pondering the myriad tribal customs and influences that might have shaped this family line. This chapter thus embarks on a journey through time, weaving narratives of the past with the present, exploring the enigmatic blend of cultures that defines the mestizo experience. It is a story of survival, adaptation, and the rich tapestry of human history mirrored in the life of Victor de la Garza and the evolving story of Allende. In the heart of Allende, where the past and future were in a constant dialogue, Victor's life unfolded like a vibrant mural, each day adding color and depth to his story. At 23, he stood at a pivotal point in his life, his experiences shaped by the duality of his heritage and the shifting sands of his country's history. As we delve deeper into the story of Victor de la Garza and the rise of Allende, the Coahuiltecan tribes emerge as a vital part of this narrative, not only enriching the backdrop of our tale but also serving as a conduit for understanding the complex tapestry of indigenous cultures in the region. The Coahuiltecans, a collective term for various indigenous groups in northeastern Mexico and southern Texas, including the area around Coahuila, were primarily nomadic hunter-gatherers. Their lives were intricately woven into the fabric of the land they inhabited. They thrived in a harsh environment, relying on an intimate knowledge of the natural world that surrounded them. Their diet was a testament to this knowledge, comprising deer, bison, various small animals, fish, and an array of plants, nuts, and fruits like the versatile prickly pear, which provided both nourishment and water in arid times. In the chronicles of Victor de la Garza's life, the presence and influence of the Coahuiltecans cannot be understated. Their resilience in the face of colonization, their adaptability, and their deep connection with nature offer a profound perspective on the mestizo identity that Victor embodies. 
The Coahuiltecans' interactions with Spanish colonizers were marked by both conflict and adaptation, which played a significant role in shaping the cultural landscape that Victor and his family navigated. Amidst the challenges of colonization, the Coahuiltecans found themselves caught in the tides of change. The Spanish missions, while offering refuge, also led to a blending and eventual dilution of their distinct cultural identities. By the end of the 18th century, as the missions closed and the Indian families received small parcels of land, the Coahuiltecan tribes gradually integrated into the lower economic strata of Mexican society. Their unique cultural heritage, once vivid and distinct, faded into the annals of history, leaving behind a legacy that is now being rediscovered and preserved. In narrating the story of Victor de la Garza, the Coahuiltecan tribes stand as a symbol of the diverse influences that shaped the mestizo identity. Their story is a poignant reminder of the resilience of human cultures in the face of overwhelming odds and the enduring spirit of a people who once thrived in the land that Victor would call home. Through the lens of Victor's life, we not only explore the past but also uncover the layers of human experience that have been woven together over centuries, creating the rich, multicultural tapestry of modern Mexico. The year is 1862. Victor, a young man, found himself at a crossroads of personal and historical significance. Born to José Felipe and María Gertrudis Teodora, Victor grew up in a household where the values of resilience and hope were deeply ingrained. His siblings, María Severa, Simon, Atanasio, and Pedro, each contributed to the rich familial tapestry that shaped his early years. Each morning, Victor's ritualistic walks through his fields connected him to the land. The maize's golden hues and the wheat's soft greens whispered ancestral stories, grounding him in tradition. These moments of solitude were a time for reflection, where Victor pondered the lessons passed down from his ancestors and how they could be applied in a world that was rapidly changing. Allende's market, more than a trading hub, was the town's heartbeat. Victor's daily interactions there reflected his character, weaving him into the community's vibrant fabric. His easy smile and open demeanor made him a well-liked figure, yet he was not immune to the undercurrents of prejudice that occasionally surfaced. These moments, though disheartening, only strengthened his resolve to bridge the gaps between different worlds. At home, Teodora and their son Hesos formed Victor's world. Teodora, combining insight with resilience, was his life partner and trusted confidant. Their conversations often delved into the dreams they had for their son. Dreams of a world where the lines that divided people were blurred and eventually erased. Victor's marriage to Teodora Arispe, a union that blossomed in the heart of Allende, brought a new dimension to his life. Their first child, Jesus, born around 1857, was a symbol of their love and the future they were building together. The joy of fatherhood was a profound experience for Victor, filling him with a sense of purpose and responsibility. In 1862, Mexico's political upheavals subtly underpinned Victor's daily existence. The liberal reforms, heralding change, ignited debates and tensions, echoing through Victor's thoughts. Victor found himself increasingly involved in these discussions, his voice becoming one of reason and progress. He dreamed of an Allende where his son could grow up in a society that valued equality and justice, a society that was evolving, just as he was, under starlit Coahuila skies. Victor's evening reflections deepened, cradling Jesus with Teodora beside him. He was enveloped by a profound sense of duty and hope for the future. He knew that the world they were building for their son was not just for Jesus but for all the children of Allende. His aspirations for a better future were rooted in the love for his family and his community. As he navigated his daily life, the echoes of his family's past and the whispers of future generations mingled in his thoughts. He often pondered the lives of his parents, their struggles and triumphs, and how their experiences had paved the way for his own journey. The stories of his siblings, each carving their own path, were a constant source of inspiration and reflection. Victor's journey through the streets of Allende, amidst the fields and in the warmth of his home, was a narrative of hope and perseverance. His story was not just his own but a reflection of a nation in the midst of transformation a young man embodying the spirit of resilience and unity that defined the era. As the days turned into weeks and months in Allende, Victor's life continued to unfold amidst the backdrop of a nation grappling with its identity. His story, 
interwoven with the fabric of his community, was a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the human spirit in times of change. Day by day, as Victor tended to his land, he experienced a profound connection with the earth. Each crop he cultivated transcended mere sustenance, symbolizing his deep-rooted commitment to the ancestral land. This connection to the earth was a source of comfort and strength, grounding him in the midst of societal shifts. In the lively Allende market, Victor was a known and welcomed presence. His engagements with the townsfolk extended beyond transactions, evolving into exchanges of ideas, news, and mutual respect. Despite the occasional reminder of his mixed heritage in the form of subtle glances or unspoken barriers, Victor's optimism and open-heartedness often turned these moments into opportunities for understanding and connection. In the solace of his home, Theodora and Jesus were Victor's anchors. Theodora's wise and compassionate approach to their mixed-race family dynamics continually inspired and guided him. Together, they created a home filled with love, respect, and a deep appreciation for their diverse heritage. Jesus, growing each day, was a bundle of joy and curiosity, his laughter a bomb to the challenges they faced. La Reforma's unfolding in Mexico stirred constant discussion among Victor's acquaintances. He showed keen interest in the Le Lerdo, with its transformative goals of land redistribution and diminishing the church's and communal land's power. These discussions often took place in hushed tones in his home or among close friends, as they pondered the implications of these changes on their lives and community. Beneath Coahuila's expansive, starlit sky, Victor's evenings were filled with contemplation. He envisioned a future where Jesus could flourish in a society valuing diversity and equality. These moments of reflection were not just about dreaming. They were about planning and hoping for a better tomorrow. Victor's story, set in the heart of Allende, was a narrative of a young man coming into his own in a world of change. A narrative of hope, resilience, and the enduring spirit of a man committed to his family and his homeland. His daily life, filled with the joys of family, the warmth of community, and the challenges of a nation in flux was a mirror to the broader story of Mexico in the mid-19th century. In Victor, we see the embodiment of hope, a symbol of a generation poised to shape the future of their country. Among Allende's historical tapestries, Victor's story stands prominently, born circa 1839, as revealed in his marriage records. His life with Allende appeared almost faded, deeply interwoven with the town's own narrative. The revelation that his family had been in Allende since a time before the town was officially recognized, and was known only by the name of its church, San Juan de Mata, positioned him not just as a resident but as a living embodiment of the town's spirit and history. This extraordinary fact cast a new light on Victor's life. He was not merely a witness to the unfolding story of Allende, he was a part of its very foundation, a cornerstone of its community. His family's presence in Allende before its formal establishment was a testament to the deep roots he had in this land. Roots that predated the lines drawn on maps and the official records of towns and settlements. As Victor walked the streets of Allende, the town that he had known since his earliest memories, he did so with the awareness that his footsteps echoed through the annals of time, the adobe walls, the cobblestone streets, and the vibrant market. All these were not just backdrops to his life. They were chapters in a shared story, a narrative that he had been a part of since its very inception. This revelation also lent a prophetic dimension to Victor's life. He was a man who had lived through the entirety of the 19th century, a century marked by profound changes and upheavals. From the early days of his youth to his final moments in 1912, Victor's life spanned the spectrum of experiences that defined this era. He had witnessed the birth of Allende, seen it grow and change and had been an integral part of its journey through the century. In this light, Victor's story transcended the personal. He became a symbol of continuity and change, a living bridge between the past and the future. His life was a reflection of the enduring spirit of Allende, a town that had grown and evolved alongside him. In Victor, the people of Allende saw not just a fellow townsman, but a living embodiment of their history and heritage. As the narrative of Victor's life draws to a close, we are left with a sense of awe at the extraordinary alignment of a man's life with the life of a town. Victor was not just an Allende. He was Allende. From its unofficial beginnings to its growth into a thriving community, 
Victor's journey was a mirror to the town's own story. In him, the past, present, and future of Allende found their most profound expression, a testament to the enduring legacy of a man, a family, and the town they embodied. Thank you so much for listening to this Family Tree Saga. We know your time is precious. Look for more at FamilyTreeSagas.com.